I want you to consider that within us, that conviction about an aspect of an aspect of ourselves or within ourselves that we feel drawn to or that we understand is the potential for our full expression and connect with that aspect. And really feel it, that part within us, the word faith is the object of it, that which is the object of our sincere faith, that some potential within us, some potential that we have Think of that potential being fully realized in its own state. Not simply as seed, but think of the full ripening of that, of that potential. And we, are, we feel drawn towards it. That's why we do everything that we do. Because we are, in a sense, trying to get to it, trying to realize it, trying to become it. You just feel that sense without having to have any imagined appearance of it. So in however you can connect with it, whether it's a vague feeling, connect with that vague feeling. The kind of feeling you have when you feel there's someone in the room but you don't see the person. So go to a sense of being aware of it that way. It's a conviction that we are indeed capable of being fully awakened. that we can relate with everything, with everyone in the most utmost skillful way of relating. And think of all the resources within and outside of us that can support that, that can nourish that. All these are within us, think of them. And we are expressing our commitment in the existence of this potential within our own continuum. And as we think of that, we recite the words, directing the intention of the words towards that presence. We will recite it once in the Tibetan, and then we will recite it in the English and twice in the Tibetan, and then once in the English, okay? The Tibetan first. And if you can follow the melody in the Tibetan with the English, we're just gonna read, there's no melody that I know of. Okay, all right. So feel that presence, direct these words towards that. Sangye Chodong Tokye Chodnam La Chanjum Badu Dagne Kyapsu Che Dagye Jensu Give Sanam Ki Jola Pinjir Sangye Chuba Shu Sangye Chodong Sogye Chodnam La Chanjum Padu Dhani Kyapsu Che Dagye Jensoy Kibes Nanke 
Jola Pinchera Sanye Jogo So. And now in the English translation, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha most excellent until the enlightenment is reached through the merit of generosity and other good deeds. May I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. And swallow that saliva that was in your mouth while you were reciting these words. And think of that saliva as being blessed with those words and it's pure helping you. So have a nice communication with your body. Let your body know that, and its components know that you're going to meditate. Listen to that intelligence as it guides you. Oh, you're going to meditate. So make sure your legs are like this. You sit like this. Your arms are like this. This is the best thing, the best way that you, you can sit for now to make the most of this moment. Arrange your spine like this, arrange your head and neck like this, and the rest of your body, your head, even how you place your eyes, whether closed or open, whatever works for you. And begin to feel in the body itself that you're touching the meditative space. Continue to listen to that intelligence. Continue to apply its guidance. Making slight adjustments here and there. Until there is a sense of, ah, that's it. This is the posture for me. This is the posture that helps me connect. And rejoice in this beautiful cooperation between your mind and your body. That you are able to be aware of it and that your body is able to respond to you. And once you feel that measure of confidence that you, your body is ready, gently bring your attention to the breath to help the mind have that same level of sense of readiness. Use the breath as a bridge, allowing your awareness consciousness to go deeper into that space where you are making a closer and closer and closer contact with who you really are. And you begin to feel your body in a slightly different way. You're beginning to be aware of other elements within the body. And I'm talking about very obvious things, not imaginary things, the pulse, the breath, the circulation, 
and maybe some other more subtle things, but there are things that are obviously there that are, you are actually experiencing, not imagining. And trust that what you're doing and with that trust, whatever hesitations, unconscious hesitations you had, holding the body in some kind of tension here or there, so subtly, physically, energetically, with that trust, you can let go. And because you let go, you're experiencing the mind in a very palpable way. Just like there is a definite sense that the body is in its own sort of meditative experience, there's a similar or some kind of a palpable sense that the mind is now at least touching meditation. And imagine now that you are at the very end of the bridge or the very level of awareness of the breath where you can now make a conscious decision to fully enter into that space called meditation where you will have a more closer direct contact connection with that profound aspect of you. Now let's dive, let's jump into that space consciously, deliberately with a deep breath. Through the nose, breathe in if you wish. Hold for a second or two. And then through the mouth, if you wish, completely release. And as you release, let go, let go, let go, let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go for yourself, go into that space, deeper into that space. As you go into deeper into that space, the sense of calm is enhancing, the sense of pleasantness is enhancing. Keep letting go, keep letting go, keep letting go, keep letting go, leave the breath alone, let the breath take its own rhythm, keep your seeing that momentum of letting go, letting go, letting go. And a sense of clarity of the mind is becoming clearer. The sense of the natural luminosity of the mind is becoming brighter and brighter. Keep letting go, keep letting go. The sense of the collective power of the mind is becoming more and more evident, more and more, and more felt. Keep letting go, 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 keep letting go. You feel the body now in a very different way, more energetically, more subtle. And by more subtle, I'm not talking about being lighter. It could be the subtleness is like the body feels like it weighs a thousand tons or it feels like it weighs nothing. So however you're feeling the body that feels completely different than when you were before you sat, as you were sitting, that way of being aware of the body, understand it's because you're deeper in that space. You're closer to that, to that nature and rejoice and allow that to continue. Don't stop here, allow it to continue. There's nothing you have to do. Just I'll keep allowing, keep allowing, keep letting go, keep letting go. And you may notice yourself physically going deeper into your seat, almost as if somehow there was something holding you up and then it's let go and then you, you're, 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 you're sunk deeper into the seat. Keep letting go, keep letting go doesn't mean that everyone has to experience it. Just if you experience it, acknowledge it, rejoice, recognizing what the sign means. And allow yourself to continue to go deeper. And as you go deeper, you're accessing and you're abiding in more subtle levels of consciousness. The more subtle, the more powerful. The more powerful, the more, the more immediate means 
the means, the most stronger, the most powerful means you have to bring about more immediately the transformation you seek or the realization or the recognition you seek. Now within that same space, your mind and your consciousness is, is different, your awareness is different, you're aware of more subtle things. Now bring attend that same mind that is ever deepening, ever more, getting ever more subtle. Bring it to that feeling you felt earlier, that part of you, that you, that part of your continuum that is calling you. And you feel it's, you've been feeling its power. You've been feeling its wisdom. You've been feeling its all embracingness. So bring your attention to that sense now. If you're feeling slight dizziness, it's okay. Consider it to be part of the experience. Keep letting go. Letting go to the experience. Now, in that space, we are going to work. This is the kind of work where you, the more you relax, the more you do the work. The more you tense up, the less you do the work. So the more, so keep going back every once in a while to relaxing, relax, whatever your awareness can go to. Relax physically, relax energetically, relax cognitively. And as you do that, notice how that space of the meditation is becoming stronger, the calm, the joy, the sense of clarity, the sense of vastness, the sense of luminosity, the sense of collective power. Now, I want you now to clothe this presence, okay? And the reason for clothing it is for that aspect of ourselves that says this is real without any hesitation. The part of us that says this is real, let me see if it's not real, that part. The reason it does that is because it is perceiving. So allow that, that presence to have an appearance, whatever the appearance may be. Okay of human form, a non-human form. As a matter of fact, think of it as some sort of, think of it as you, okay? Completely naked above your head or some form that you consider to be ideal. Remember, this is that potential within you because right now it doesn't have a way of making contact with one of our five senses. We, are not, we don't have a sense of it being completely real the way we say, oh, that, that is real because I see it. That is real because I hear it. So give it those attributes. What, is, what does he smell like? What does she smell like? What's her color? What's her complexion? And completely naked. Standing or sitting or reclining, however you want to imagine it. But you keep telling yourself, it is that potential that's been calling me, that has been, I've been drawn to. It's taking a form so that I can, that part of me that will make more of a, this def definite conclusion, it's real. It needs to see colors and hear sounds and see shapes for it to say, yeah, this is real. So that's why. So, but it's appearing in a form that you find ideal. 
You're already very beautiful. Just see yourself above your head. Okay. And how is it possible that this form can appear? And you're thinking about that. And as you're thinking about that, a flash of wisdom flashes in your mind on understanding. And then that form completely disappears into pure potential. And it is that pure potential that took that form. And now you're seeing the pure potential and it appears again. That beautiful form appears again. And there are so many lies that we have, that we are clinging onto. Lies about who we are. Lies about reality. Lies about our qualities. Lies that you're limited in this way and that way. You suffer in this way and that way. And these lies are stuck to us. And that beautiful ex naked expression above our heads, is now sending light to us to wash away the lies. So think of some specific lie that you're gonna get clinging onto. Some quality you think you should have that you don't have. Some quality you have that you wish you didn't have. All these lies. some limitations that you think you have that you shouldn't have, think of them. And you don't have to think of some abstract, I'm talking about real lies where you live, you think you're stuck there, that's a lie your economic situation, whatever it is, your relationships, whatever it is, all these things that we are stuck to us, we give them reality. And that bright naked self is sending light rays from, its, from itself, helping us to wash these lies away. And I want you to think, oh, beautiful me, help me be free of these lies and think of specific lies. I'm an angry person. I have attachment issues, all these lies. See them being washed away as you, oh, beautiful person with very, strong conviction in the sense of authority that you're being heard and that you're being aided. Oh, I wanna get rid of this lie. Okay, all right, let's get rid of it. Oh, beautiful me, free me of this lie and name the lie and see the light going and removing it wherever the lie is appearing in you or inside of you or around you as I recite. Om Vasa Sarva Ah, 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 Om Vasa S
And the last three waves. Om Bhaja Sadva Ah. And however much you can hold on to the conviction that you're free of all these lies. And I will name them economic lies, environmental lies that we're holding on to, relationship lies, event lies. And family lies, everything, body, mind, speech. And the snake adieu above your head. becomes a spark of light, descends through the crown of your head and becomes a light in your heart. And the light radiates from your heart radiates through time, radiates through space, radiates through different dimensions of consciousness. In every ways you can think of existence, different aspects of existence, it, that light radiates through all those aspects of existence. And as it radiates, and whatever it touches, understand that it is something you have empowered, something you have entrusted to hold your own power. And now you're going to reclaim those powers. Back in time, in space, in different dimensions, in different consciousnesses. And those lights begin to draw back. And as they draw back, you're drawing back your power. 
whatever you have, you have empowered outside, seemingly outside to have any power over you, you're taking the power back. And as the lights begin to gather within you, you begin now to claim, make claim to your power, make claim to who you are, and they're becoming clearer and purer. And now, all the lights have been withdrawn in the heart. And then in a split second, you withdraw your appearance into pure potential. <laughs> and in that space of just pure potential, I want you to think, contemplate, and this kind of thinking and contemplation is beyond what the mind can think, the way the mind can think. It is beyond any appearances, any ways of concept that we can conceptualize. It is thinking which is not thinking. And what are you thinking? I am ready to be who I really am. I'm ready to make an appearance where every way I relate is skillful, where I'm not unconnected to who I really am. Whatever the appearance I take, Every aspect of that appearance will be a reminder who, who I really am. In that vast, undifferentiated, unmanifest, inconceivable, And for lack of a better word, we're calling it pure potential. In a way that we do not understand, we say we are thinking in that space, preparing ourselves. We are about to give ourselves. We are about to birth ourselves. Now the appearance you're gonna take it's not gonna be, it's my father's fault that I have this. It's my mother's fault that I have that. It's my friend's fault. It's because of TV. It's because of the movie that I have this or that. All that is, gonna, is gone. You're gonna take complete responsibility for your, who you are. You're gonna appear as you really are. Be ready. That beautiful being that you saw above your head, that's gonna be you. You're gonna take that form. So that very understanding, that very readiness to relate in very skillful way. We're not taking anybody's agenda. It's your own agenda. It's not Maitreya's agenda. It's not Avalokiteshvara's agenda. It's not Shakyamuni's agenda. It's not the wrathful deity's agenda. It's your own agenda, complete responsibility. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Hum, now you appear. And again, completely naked, standing or sitting exactly where you are. And now you're going to put on some sort of ornament. You're gonna clothe yourself, but you're not gonna just clothe yourself with ordinary cloth. You're not gonna ornament yourself with just ordinary jewelry. Think of the different skillful ways to relate with reality, whether that reality, we call it sentient being, or we call it environment. So have your skillful ways of going to relate on the ready. And within this very moment, understand that all moments are within every moment. So within this moment, see yourself relating within all moments in this very skillful way with how, with this, with this appearance we are calling self, with the appearances that we're calling other, with the appearances that we're calling environment. And the understanding we wear that. So whatever, you, whatever garment you want that to be, let that be some kind of garment. Let it be your shirt, let it be your underwear. So when, from now, from now on, whenever you put that garment on or that category of garment, think of understanding. This is my understanding. And the reason that it's there is to remind me of my wisdom. It's no longer shirt. So whatever garment you felt like it should have been, So your naked body is the amalgam of all those potentials. And when they become to be differentiated, it's the different pieces of garment. So what other qualities that you're gonna skillfully project, relate like perfection of generosity, perfection of skillful behavior, the perfection of patience, the perfection of endurance. See each one of these as a garment, a shirt, undershirt, pants. Now, the, what's going to remind you of your perfect concentration? So put on a jewelry. It appears as that jewelry, a ring, a bracelet, a necklace that you, or, that you already have, or, or if you don't have wear jewelry, just imagine it.
Okay, now you're adorned with the perfections and you see yourself. The reason that you see yourself with those adornments that you can actually put on is because you, in that moment, you've acted within every moment with that skillful perfection. And it is because of that, that ornament has appeared. It is because of that, the thumb ring has appeared. It's because of that, the necklace has appeared. And whenever you touch the necklace, whenever you see the necklace, it will remind you of, you already done, you've done that already. And see yourself moving through time and space relating only skillfully with whatever can be called a self. Myself, yourself, his self, her self, their self. But whatever can be called environmental, my house, your house, outside, inside, Only skillfully are you relating. And as a sign of each expression of relating so skillfully, some ornament appears on your body. If you have ornaments already, think of them. And you can even, if you wish, assign each one of them. Okay, you're, the, you're my perfect way of, of, of being generous. You're my perfect way of being patient. You're my perfect way of, and so on and so forth. So that whenever you see, even just see those ornaments and you put them on, it will remind you of, yeah, that's me. And when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you're not looking at some ordinary appearance. If you have 1,775,463 strands of hair, each one represents something, something very profound. Okay, from head to toe, look at your gorgeous self. And every ornament you're wearing is a sign of something you have perfected. Go ahead. Do your vogue. Because of some, we don't know why, wish to have an adventure of abiding in lies. We were living in that way before. And we adorn ourselves with lies. Now we are beyond that. Now we are adorned with only truth.
because we are in the world of manifestation, you could say, in a realm of manifestation. It's like we take birth and we forget who we were before we took birth. So in a realm of manifestation, we forget what we were prior to this manifestation. So we consciously have these appearances to remind us, so we're gonna get lost. This shirt, that's understanding reality. These pants, that's understanding the pillars of diversity. My hair, that's my free nature. That's what they're there for, to remind me, but then to make me forget. Okay, now get ready. Seeing your gorgeous self, already all decked out with all your beautiful qualities. And feel ready, okay, now I can relate with, pe with people. And before we step out, we're gonna celebrate. I mean, what's the point of being all decked out if you're not going to a party? <laughs> and you're ready. It is not the things outside that makes me experience joy if I want to experience joy. I make it. me, make me experience joy. That's the party. Okay. Well, well where the party be at? <laughs> well, for the rest of your existence, that's where the party be at. <laughs> Okay, get ready for the party. So let's get out of this thing called meditation so we can go out and party. <laughs> okay. And that's what these words would be for. Kewa di ye kewa kan Sernam yeshe tozo cheng Sernam yeshe zechu we Tamba kunye topa sho Oh, it's a party. Kewa wa di yi kewa kun, sir nam ye she tozo shen, sir nam ye she lejun wei, dampa kun ni to pa shu. Okay, 